Today I'm going to do a video. I've been promising some people some videos about uh, the old Duramax swap and the Blazer. And maybe tell you some more technical stuff about the uh, how I made the engine run. <clears throat> so here it is. Here is the wire harness the, and the factory ECM. So I took the factory ECM and the factory wire harness, a whole 10 miles of wire harness and I sent it off to a company called Standalone Harness. I did a lot of research and these guys are the, are the best. You send it off to them, they fix it, you, they call you, tell you exactly what you need, what you want. Here's the wiring, it's all labeled, pretty simple. Hook to the battery, hook to the ground, hook to the ignition switch. So on the Duramax, you basically have your two plugs, this one and this one. These two go to the engine wire harness, and boom, it fires up. How do I know? Because I know. I hooked it up, and it does that. Here's your OBD2. Uh, they give you, uh, this is, I think, the starter. No, I don't know what that was. Uh, fuel, fuel pump relay, I think. Um, and I think you hook this up to, let's see, what does this one say? Alternator. So that's pretty much it. Those two plugs, alternator. You've got one for your, your electronic foot pedal, which I think I just flopped it over here. This one hooks to your foot pedal. Hook it up. Boom. Turns the key. Now, the guys who did the work on the ECM is DMAXSwap.com. Now, normally I wouldn't even show these guys, but these guys were hands down great. I had issues, which wasn't their problem. It was my problem with some stuff. They I, they, I sent it back, they went through it, checked it all out, sent it back, didn't even charge me anything. I got the DSP5 switch, so I have, there's actually five tunes in this ECM. Don't know how it works, but I have a stock all the way to like, you know, blow up your transmission and engine tune. So, that is that. There's a video, I'm sure some of you have seen it because you've asked questions. You, I uh, have a little engine stand, I hooked this thing up, hooked it up to the battery, hooked it up to the ground, and turned the key, and it boom, it's, it fired right up, no hiccups, it, it sounded great. So, that's pretty much that with that. Hopefully that answered some questions about how I made it run. Because I know a lot of people will freak out about this stuff. But with the Duramax, you know, some cars you, you can get away with uh, using a factory computer and just kind of fooling stuff with resistors and stuff. With the Duramax, send it off. So, I know someone's going to ask me price. I think they did the wire harness. And you can go to their website and it'll tell you. You can get, you can have them add extra stuff, take stuff away. You can have uh, your cruise control. I mean, you can have everything hooked up. I think it was like 450. I think it was about 450 for the wire harness. And I think with the ECM, with the DSP five switch and the five tunes, I think they charged me about 450. So I was less than a grand with shipping and the whole bit to get all that taken care of. And I know it works. It's great quality. I, I mean. This was a rusty, crusty wire harness, and it came back looking brand new. Look at this thing. These are the engine things that he, they actually pressure wash all this stuff. It, it looks pretty much brand new. This thing, trust me, it was, it was out of a junkyard. It looked like crap. So I was really impressed, really happy with the way they helped me out. So... Let's go down here. Let me show you the transmission because I'm not running a uh, Allison transmission. I've got a 4L80E. It's all been rebuilt. It's right here. That's a billet converter. I had it custom. Had to have it custom built because when you're using this transmission, this was actually it was an option in like the vans. You can use the computer from a van and you can run this transmission. I didn't have a van computer. I didn't use that. So I'm using another standalone uh, from TCM or TCI to run the transmission. But this is all built, billet input shaft. I don't know if you can even tell the difference, whatever. 
build input shaft, build output shaft, all new this, all new that, but I had to have the torque converter uh, custom built because most of the, tra the torque converters that are high performance for this transmission are made for street cars and racing applications, so it, the stall was wrong. I wanted a lower stall to hold the torque, so that's it. So hopefully that answered some questions. I'm going to do another video next week on the suspension of the Blazer, and I'll post that up. So uh, it's turkey day. I'm going to go eat some turkey. Have a good one.